So this is a quick update on Armadale Capital PLC, who are progressing their DFS on their Mahenjliandu graphite project in Tanzania. Uh, it's a large resource and it's high grade project. And um, they've just announced some recent news in August around drilling results and uh, metallurgical testing, uh, which I'll cover in, in a minute. Um, now, interesting enough, ACP are uh, trading at the moment at a market cap of just over six million, um, and they're the only graphite company um, with, a, with, a, with a project of this size listed on the A market. In fact, most of the uh, peers of ACP, other companies operating in the region, are actually listed on the ASX, Australian market. And a point I wanted to make a note of here is that um, if ACP was trading on the ASX, uh, it could potentially be trading at two or three times higher, um, given that the market uh, peers, uh, such as uh, companies like Kilbaran and Vault Resources, are trading around about the sort of like 13 million to 18 million mark. And uh, there's another company, Walkabout Resources, um, also operating in Tanzania that are actually trading up at 45 million today with a peak uh, at about 60 million market cap um, not too long ago. And I'll go over walkabout in a second and draw some comparisons to Armadale so you can see the potential uh, uplift there. So in terms of the recent news that they've given, well, um, there's two pieces of uh, key news that came in August. The first was around metallurgical testing and the purities that they've managed to achieve. And if you look at this image here, you can see that uh, Armadale uh, have achieved purities of around 97%. Now, this is significant uh, if you look across the peers uh, and also walk about, as I mentioned previously, they're, they're in the sort of 95% purity region. Now, 90, 97% is important because um, the higher the purity of the graphite, and these are large and medium flake sizes, the higher the prices that you can command uh, and achieve to an end consumer. And if you're looking at battery uh, EV metals, so obviously graphite is a dominant material in batteries, in the anode, um, it's easier to upscale 97% purity to the sort of battery level purity of around about 99%. Um, via a leaching process than it is to go from a 95% uh, product and hence why the product um, uh, achieves a premium pricing. So this is this is great news for Armadale and it's great news for the DFS um, that is coming um, towards the end of the year. In addition, Armadale reported uh, from recent drilling assays that the, um, the, the, the grades have gone up. It's a higher grade operation uh, you can see here from the RNS that they've achieved grades uh, over 20%, which is extremely high grade. And the, and, and the relevance of this is that in the early years of mining, they can um, mine the higher grade um, ore, you know, and, and, and uh, let the mine plan account for that, uh, which means they'll return more EBITDA and cash flow in the earlier years. And what does this mean? It means that the capital payback um, will be even faster than potentially um, is in the scoping study, uh, which I think is something like 1.2 years, um, because they can achieve higher cash flows in the earlier years. And if you actually look down at some of the drill results, um, they were previously quoting from the scoping study that there was an average grade across the whole resource of around about 9.7 TGC. Um, a lot of the drill results that are coming in now are well over 10%. So one can infer that perhaps the, uh, you know, with the grades going up, this is also going to positively impact the DFS as well. So along with the purities and the grade increases, there could be an uplift, uh, even significant uplift in the uh, scoping study numbers where the MPV dramatically improves uh, and the CapEx would, I would should imagine, stay pretty much uh, where it is at the moment. And just to give a flavor for uh, Armadale's project, um, there essentially, um, the scoping study shows a 35 million capex, a 350 million NPV, which is a, a one to 10 ratio, which is an extremely good ratio for, for um, projects like this. Um, and a 1.2 year payback with 122% IRR. 
And if you look at Walkabout Resources, now this company I mentioned earlier, they've um, actually started uh, uh, this year, since February, to uh, re-rate. Um, and they're probably about six to nine months ahead of uh, Armadale in terms of roadmap. And um, so this is uh, potentially a, a path that Armadale will be following. And this is why it's very exciting to me. So if you look at the Walkabout project, um, it's a slightly uh, smaller annual tonnage project um, it's 197 million NPV uh, with a uh, 27.8 million capital cost. Now, that's a good project. That's a, that's a very good project. And uh, hence why uh, Walkabout has started to experience a re-rate. But put those numbers in context with the ones I've just told you about Armadale. And you can see that Armadale um, is offering even more compelling economics than this. And uh, so why has Walkabout re-rated then? Well, if you look at the, the, the chart here, you can see that um, from February uh, onwards, the company has experienced a significant re-rate. And this was because they <coughs> reissued the numbers for the DFS, uh, as I've just shown you. Um, and this has basically kicked off uh, the start of a re-rate process. And um, you can see that the share price basically um, achieved a 300% rise from where it was. So. Um, I think at peak it hit about 60 million market cap and it's currently trading at around about 40, uh, 45 million. Um, and this is sterling. And they've also signed a binding offtake agreement. So this is this has uh, helped the company further re-rate from the original DFS news. And um, what's interesting about that is given that the, uh, the, the sort of target grades for walkabout are around the 95% purity, sorry, the, the, the purities are around the 95%, and Armadale looking at 97%, <clears throat> then you know Armadale look uh, even even better placed. And so, given that Armadale are uh, towards the end of the year going to be delivering their DFS, I should imagine that given that the purities are, are, are higher than Walkabout, Armadale would have no problem securing binding offtake agreements as well. <clears throat> Which means that essentially Armadale could follow. Uh, the same path and journey and re-rating um, uh, situation that Walkabout has done. And uh, as I said earlier, you know, if you look at Armadale today compared to other ASX peers, um, really Armadale's equivalent share price would be around 3 to 4p, just to match those peers today. If you were going to compare it to Walkabout uh, and uh, where Walkabout are today, and you said that uh, Armadale is going to be there in about six months' time, you'd be looking at something like a 7, 8p equivalent. So I think it's a very compelling investment from this level, which is currently sub 2 pence. I think it's hidden, it's under the radar, it's not on the ASX, so therefore it's not attracting Australian investment. <clears throat> this potentially is an opportunity for uh, UK investors.